I get into a mentality where he's trying to hurt my children, but then I know there's no way in the world this man's ever going to beat me. There's no way in the world, unless he kills me stone dead, is he ever going to beat me, this man. Ever. I get up the first thing in the morning, half five, six, go for a run. Normally do like three, four mile run, run with a few sprints in between. Then I go to the boxing gym for about 12, one o'clock. Go there, do my pads, shadow, bag, skip, a little bit of sparring, etc. I'm doing that Monday to Friday religiously, every single day. Saturday and Sunday, just switch off. I feel good, but mentally I feel good. And I think that's the most important thing, you know? Sit down at the bottom of that, doing me lovely. Mate, I'm doing the hands, yeah? Come on then, yeah. liven up. I'm the trainer, you're the fighter, yeah? I'll do the hands, yeah? Liven up. Yeah? Remember who's in charge, not you, alright? Never any fights, did ya? Yeah. More fights than you've had on dinners, mate, don't worry about that. So when he's in here, when he's leaning on you, you just sit. Ha! There! Ha! Side to side! Ha! Give him in, yeah? Ha! Alright, let's go. Stacey Dunn lives, breathes, sleeps, boxing. He doesn't go for a normal jog on the beach, oh no. He's Rocky Balboa giving it shadow boxing. He's out for a challenge. I don't think Stacey even knows what downtime means. He's training that much. Yeah, double jab, double jab back yeah. What's him doing here? That's the old one. What is that all about? He's training again, he wants number one training, it's quite me, isn't he? So Stacey's floating around and he gets in with Terry the Tan, but can he actually train Stacey? I'm not saying he's not a good trainer. I didn't know he was coming out. They dig you up from the ocean. Yeah, we need this one out. We'll get better in a minute, but we're not worried. He's right. But he does talk a very good talk. When you're in that ring, it's like it's a cruel, lonely place. You know, when you're on a football pitch, there's 11 of you in there. So it's a team effort, isn't it? If you're a little bit tired, you can just oh, sit back there a little bit, pass to one of the other people, let them play. Do you know what I mean? When you're in that boxing ring, it's you and him. There's only one of you coming out of there. It's a lonely, lonely place. You've just got to get that mentality, do you know what I mean? It's you or him. And that ain't going to be me, that's for sure. Right, right. 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 Have you got um, any opponent in mind? I don't really know. What are you trying to hint? Anyone you can think of for me? I don't maybe? know. What are you trying to hint? Maybe David Turner. Oh, David Turner. Um, be nice. <laughs> Dad! That's what we wanted. Every boxer has that one fight that they lost to be points, could be a lucky knockout. This is haunting Stacey's dreams and his life. That name, Davey Turner. <laughs> you ready for the fight? Yeah, I think so. There's your ticket. Thank you very much. You gonna sell them or just look at them? Oh, I just really look at me now. That's nice. You could invite Stacey round for a cup of tea, walk through the door, groomed up to the maximum. The side party's got it going on, right? He's worse than me. Opponent, we're not too sure yet. Go on. One of two, yeah? Yeah, yeah one, of, one of two? Yeah. Who's the other one? Oh, I can't remember his name. David Turner. You need That's to let one. that go, dude. David Turner. Who am I fighting? David Turner? No, Stace. You're not fighting David Turner. How's things, how's you adjusting? Yeah, I'm right, getting there. It's hard at first, like, couple of few weeks being out was hard. But, I don't know, it just gets easier and easier, do you know what I mean? And just, it's just, I'm happy to be seeing the kids again more than anything. That means everything to me, you know? He's got a heart of gold. And his kids are his life. Charlie boy goes everywhere, idolises him. And that's his motivation for tomorrow. A bit faster now. Good, block it in. That's it, good. Uh, get fast now, are you? <laughs> Good boy. Little dips, little dips. Good. Slip. There, better. Nope. As soon as you come on that dip, you're going to the wrong hand again. Go to that one. Bam, bam, roll. Comes back, yeah? That's it. Block it. Nice. Boom. Bam. That's it. Good. That's better. Dig in now. Get the power in. Good. Body shot. Good. Onto the body. Good. Jab, jab. Good. Double that jab up there. Double that jab up there. That's better. Put them in there, yeah? Okay. Right then, round. Good lads, you've got to work harder, right? Come in. Yeah. Come on. Lovely lots, right, boy? Well done, boy. Well done. Come on.
He is a promoter's dream. He trains hard, but when he comes out, he's the business. When you go see Stacey fight, it's not about the boxing, it's about the show. And that's why they call it Team Dumb. As a boxing promoter, I see a lot of people train, but Laura, I salute you. Million dollar baby. Oh, it's lovely to see them on the boxing ball, even though it's annoying. They do get on so well together. You two nicely. They're so alike. So lovely to see them together. Do get on there. Look, Come on, <laughs> I'm trying to get dinner on and wash up. No, this isn't fair. Come on, Mum. Ready, go. One, two. Behave. Yes, I'm Mom, trying to on. get dinner on. It's always nice to see that a girl oh, in this sport too. comes from a really lovely, supporting family. I don't know many mothers that would sit back and go, yeah, go off and box. But Mrs. Payne definitely supports her daughter. She's very forgetful. <laughs> you tell her something to go and do something she forgets. And then she'll say, what did you ask me to do? <laughs> Need to work away to the body. Dravic responding kind of the 10 second clap. The body looks You're not watching this again. Mom, I need you. Mom, to dark. It's going to get dark. Mom. I don't want you going out in the dark. Mom. 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 Cora, walk! <whistles> she always puts a smile on my face because <laughs> she's always doing silly things and like I say, she's very forgetful and she'll always, you know, as I go to work, she's always saying, have you got your keys? Have you got your phone? Well, Laura uh, first came to us about three years ago. Um, she was kickboxing, um, very active, and I think she wanted to try and improve her hands as well. She's a good kickboxer, she's won lots of competitions, and I think she just likes to do everything. When I first met this girl, I thought, oh, please, Lord, not one of these girls down the gym that's a cling on round the guys. All of a sudden, I see her on the pads, game over. I don't think that bag moved. Like literally, it was up that way the whole time. I've got, a, I have problems with the shopping bag. I think she uh, just blended straight in. I think she went straight in, straight to sparring. No, no qualms. Straight into the circuit training. And I think she was 14. She's 17 now. She's 14ish, around that age when she came to us. Everyone thinks she's going to do good things in boxing. She's just focused, good kid. Trying to paint a picture, but she is just a focused, good kid, mild mannered. Get her in a boxing ring, just take your head off. Seven, seven, yeah, eight, good, nine, ten. It's harder for women boxing because there are less um, bouts out there for them. There's less women boxing, so there's less choice. So Laura is a non bouter never had a fight in her life in a ring. She's 49 kilos. Where am I going to find a 17-year-old, 49 kilos, that's never had a fight? That is impossible for most promoters. She's so excited. I've never seen her that excited. She steps up the training. She's more focused. She's got the date in her head. Baby, she's got a goal. I, I know what I want to do to get her to this stage so she's ready for February. So, um, and it's just about the right time because she's in danger of overtraining because she'll train 24 hours a day if you don't stop her. Good, go. Good. Check it out. Good. 